not a butterfly. Oh! Do you know what this is, Jojo? Hmm, it's not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry. And it doesn't have wings. That's true. But one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm. It's amazing. A caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> then the caterpillar eats, eats and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. It needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. Ooh, it looks like a leaf grand grand. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a Butterfly! With beautiful, colourful wings. Wow! That's amazing! Melanie hatched from an egg. Uh-huh. At first, she was a little baby chick. That's when you met her, Jojo. Yeah. Then Melanie started to grow bigger and bigger and grow more and more feathers. Whoa! until she became the fully grown chicken she is today. But, Gran Gran, I haven't grown that much. Well, some animals grow more quickly than people. You can give Melanie a little stroke if you like. Hello, Melanie. You're a grown-up chicken now. <gasps> She's still really soft, Gran Gran. Would you like a new photo with Melanie? Yes, please. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this building's called the Hatchery. It's very special. To enter, we all have to be very, very quiet. Okay? Okay. 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 Follow me. This is an incubator. We keep some of the eggs safe and warm in here until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> Look, Jojo. Oh, wow. She's so tiny and fluffy. <laughs> Would you like to name her? <gasps> yes, please. I like to call her, um, Ma Marjorie. Marjorie, oh, that's a great name. Did you find the dinosaur? No. No? Oh. We got a bit distracted, Ezra. Oh, that happens in the museum. So many interesting things to see. Did you follow the dinosaur footprints? If you follow the dinosaur footprints, you can't get lost. Thanks, Ezra. Come on, Hugo. dinosaur I've ever seen. But, Gran Gran, I thought we were going to see a real dinosaur. This is a real dinosaur, Jojo. It doesn't look real. These are real dinosaur bones. Actually, Gran Gran, 
The correct word is fossils. Oh. These dinosaur fossils are all that's left of the dinosaurs that roamed the Earth a long, long time ago. Whoa. Ezra. <coughs> yes? Are the dinosaur fossils very old? Oh, yes, Jojo. Are they older than me? <laughs> oh, yes. Older than you. Are they older than Gran Gran? <laughs> <laughs> Much older. Hmm. Are they older than everybody in the museum? These dinosaur fossils are older than anybody in the whole world. They are millions and millions of years old. That's very old, Hugo. It was a cold winter morning. The trees were bare and the air was frosty. And Jojo and Gran Gran, that's me, were in the park. <laughs> A robin, Jojo. <gasps> Robins are my favourite birds, Gran Gran. I really like their red tummies. Ooh. <gasps> <laughs> Bye, Robin. What's your favourite bird, Gran Gran? Hmm. My favourite birds are swallows. I've never seen a swallow before, Gran Gran. Oh, they're beautiful, Jojo. And you know you've spotted one if you see its forked tail. See? Let's try and spot a swallow panda. Gran Gran. I've looked in the sky, I've looked in the trees, I've even looked over the bridge. Oh, we won't see a swallow today, Jojo, because they all fly away in the winter. Hello, Ned. Hello, Monty. Monty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, steady on, Monty. Hello, Jojo. Gran Gran. Thank you so much for looking after Monty today. He loves coming to your house. Oh, not at all. We love looking after Monty. Well, here's the lead, some food and his brush. And these are Monty's favourite treats. <coughs> Roll, Monty. Roll over. <coughs> Whoa. Who's a good boy? Who's a fluffy boy? Yes, you. <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> We've been working on that rolling over trick for a long time. It's a very good trick, Monty. Right. Better be off. I'll see you all later. Have fun looking after Monty. <laughs> good dog. Panda, this is Monty. We're looking after him today. Panda says it's nice to meet you, Monty. Monty can do a special trick, Panda. What? Roll, Monty. Roll over. Roll, Monty. Roll over. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Panda>! <laughs> I think Monty would like a drink. There you are. You must be thirsty after all that running, Monty. I wish I could change into a butterfly. Hmm. I think it's time for a grand grand plan. <laughs> We can't change into butterflies, but we can make butterfly wings. Mm. 
Oh, what beautiful, colourful butterfly wings. Thank you, Gran Gran. Can I put them on now? Uh, the paint's still wet. Let's pop them outside to dry in the sun. Hmm. Jojo, Gran Gran, I've got something to show you. <gasps> A butterfly. What's the butterfly doing, Cynthia? It's waiting for its wings to dry in the sun. I get lots of butterflies on this plant. It's called a primrose. Oh, butterflies love these plants in spring. Whoa! And now you've seen a butterfly, you can finish your nature tick book. Yay! Hello there. Welcome to the city farm. I'm Julie, the farmer. If you need to know anything about our animals, just let me know. I'm Jojo. Have you visited the farm before, Jojo? I came with my mummy and daddy. And now I want to show my grand grand all the animals I saw. And I can't wait to see them. How lovely. Well, they're all here still. Even Melanie. She's my favourite. Even Melanie. Look, grand grand, here are the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nanny Grand Grand. <laughs> Last time she tried to eat Daddy's jacket. Say cheese. says here that Luna is four years old. I'm four years old. But Luna's much taller than me. Mmm. She's even taller than me. And I'm much older than Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Gran Gran, a real dinosaur. Oh, yes. Grand Grand? Mm, it's a while since I've been here. Um. Oh, look! There's my friend, Ezra. He might know where the dinosaur is. Hello, Ezra. I didn't know you worked here. Hello, Grand Grand. Oh, yes. I volunteer at the museum a few days a week now, putting all that wisdom to good use. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be Jojo. Oh. Is that your dinosaur? He's called Hugo. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got one of those here. Our Tyrannosaurus Rex is a little bigger, though. Is it bigger than me? Oh, yes. It's bigger than you. Is it bigger than Gran Gran? <laughs> Much bigger. <laughs> is it bigger than the whole museum? <laughs> Not quite. Oh, a moustache. I'm giving a tour. See you later. I'll see you later, Ezra. Now, where's that dinosaur? Let's go this way. <laughs> OK.
now the swallows don't need to go away for winter. They can have a holiday here. Oh, Jojo, this is really very beautiful. But the swallows will still find it too chilly out here. Hmm. I know. It's much warmer in Grand Grand's kitchen, Panda. The swallows can come in here. Birds migrate for other reasons too, Jojo. Oh. They might look for more food or somewhere safe to lay their eggs. Why don't we keep your holiday until the swallows come back in spring? They can enjoy it then. But that's ages away. Hmm. Jojo, I think it's time for a grand grand plan. You'll need your nature tick book, Jojo. Now, you wait here while I carry this bird food outside. We all need to be very quiet and very still. OK? OK. Look there, Jojo. <gasps> Whoa! There are so many birds, Gran Gran. And there's my favourite. Robin. Swallows fly to warmer countries in the winter. But lots of birds stay here all year round. So until the swallows come back in the spring, we can spot lots of different birds in the garden. <sighs> Looking after Monty is a lot of work, Gran Gran. But it's fun too. I know. Oh, I think I'm ready for a rest. <laughs> I think Monty's ready for a rest, too. <sighs> Good dog, Monty. Oh, I think I know who that is. Huh? <laughs> ah. Hello, Ned. Come in. Hello, Gran Gran. Jojo. <coughs> Monty! Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a fluffy boy? Have you had a good day? Oh, you have. Oh, yes, you have. Oh, thank you so much for looking after me. <laughs> no problem. We've really enjoyed it. And Jojo's done a fantastic job of looking after Monty today. And Panda. Panda helped too. Thank you, Panda. We gave Monty some food and took him for a walk in the park and gave him a good brush. But we didn't get to see Monty's special trick. Oh, it took a long time before he showed me too, Jojo. It can take a few tries. Here, try it with a treat. Roll, Monty. Roll over. Yes, you did Yay! it! Good well boy. done, Monty! The ladybird's back! Where's the ladybird going now, Gran Gran? Ooh, ladybirds are also busy in the garden, Jojo. Are all the insects in the garden busy? Oh, yes! Ladybirds eat pests on the plants. Bees collect nectar from the flowers. And beetles stay busy eating old bark and dry leaves. And I thought we were busy in the garden, Panda. Shall we move these leaves now? Good idea, Gran Gran. Do we really have to move these leaves? The insects really like them. Hmm. I don't think they can stay here, Jojo. Unless... I think it's time for a grand grand plan. We could use things from the recycling pile to build a bug hotel. What do you think, Cynthia? Oh, I think that 
That's a fantastic idea, Gran Gran. I've always wanted to build a bug hotel. What's a bug hotel? Well, a bug hotel is a safe place for insects and other garden creatures to visit and stay. We've got everything we need to get started. Old bricks. Broken flower pots. Wooden pallets. And pandas found some tiles for the roof. A butterfly. Oh, do you know what this is, Jojo? Hmm, it's not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry, and it doesn't have wings. That's true, but one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm, it's amazing. <laughs> The caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> then the caterpillar eats, eats and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. It needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. It looks like a leaf, Gran Gran. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Wow, that's amazing. All these leaves look orange, Gran Gran. Ah, from a distance they do, Jojo. But look closely. Whoa! Orange, red, yellow and green. Oh, that's why autumn is my favourite time of year. I love how colourful the trees look. We need an orange leaf first. How can we collect the orange leaf all the way up there, Gran Gran? It's too high! We can't collect leaves that haven't fallen from the trees yet, Jojo. Then how will we collect any leaves for our nature tick book? Huh? Jared! Oh, hey, Jojo! Gran Gran! I wish these trees would stop dropping their leaves everywhere. As soon as I sweep them up, more fall. Huh? <laughs> We're going to collect leaves in all different colours to finish our nature tick book. But we can't collect leaves that haven't fallen from the trees yet. But you can collect leaves that have fallen, right? Mm-hmm. How about this leaf? An orange leaf! It looks just like the orange leaf in my nature tick book. Thanks, Jared! Come on, Jojo. Let's get to the park. We have lots of other colourful leaves to find. Bye, Jared! See you later, Jared. Bye! We need to fill the rooms with different materials. 
I know that ladybirds like straw. Bees like nooks and crannies. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, that bamboo will do nicely, Gran Gran. And beetles like dry leaves. I know where we can find dry leaves. still busy in the garden, Jojo. Oh, but it looks like our first visitor has just arrived. The ladybird. And it's chasing the strawberry. It could take a while for the other insects to check in, but when they're ready, the bug hotel will start to get very busy indeed. Oh. still looks empty. Take a closer look, Jojo. Oh, good morning, Beetle. Welcome to our bug hotel. I wish I could change it to a butterfly. Hmm. I think it's time for a grand grand plan. We can't change into butterflies, but we can. Make butterfly wings! Oh, what beautiful, colourful butterfly wings! Thank you, Gran Gran! Can I put them on now? Uh, the paint's still wet. Let's pop them outside to dry in the sun. Hmm. Jojo, Gran Gran, I've got something to show you. <gasps> A butterfly. What's the butterfly doing, Cynthia? It's waiting for its wings to dry in the sun. I get lots of butterflies on this plant. It's called a primrose. Oh, butterflies love these plants in spring. Whoa! And now you've seen a butterfly, you can finish your nature tick book. Yay! Ooh. This plant here will grow bushy red flowers. And this plant here will grow itsy bitsy blue flowers. Hmm. What about that plant? Ah. A trumpet flower! Good choice, Jojo. This daffodil plant will grow a yellow flower. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you take good care of it. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Oh, good morning, Jojo, Gran Gran. Oh, what have you got there? Jared gave it to me. I'm going to grow my own flower. How lovely. A daffodil, too. Just like my flowers. <laughs> <laughs> My flower looks like yours, Cynthia. Well, if you take good care of it, I'm sure it will. Maybe Cynthia can give you some flower growing tips. Of course. It's very simple, really. A plant needs lots of sunlight to grow. And plenty of water. And if you take good 
good care of it, you'll soon have a yellow daffodil flower. Just like yours? Just like mine. Thanks, Cynthia. We'll take good care of this plant, won't we, Panda? <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> Thanks, Gran Gran. Now we need a yellow leaf and a green leaf. Gran Gran, can you push me up high on the swings, please? Maybe we can see a yellow leaf from up there. Whee! <laughs> what can you see, Jojo? Orange. Yellow leaf. Now we just need a green leaf. No green leaves here or here. Ooh. This plant here will grow bushy red flowers, and this plant here will grow itsy bitsy blue flowers. Hmm. What about? Plant. Ah, a trumpet flower. Good choice, Jojo. This daffodil plant will grow a yellow flower. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Make sure you take good care of it. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Oh, good morning, Jojo, Gran Gran. Oh, what have you got there? Jared gave it to me. I'm going to grow my own flower. How lovely. A daffodil, too. Just like my flowers. <laughs> My flower look like yours, Cynthia. Well, if you take good care of it, I'm sure it will. Maybe Cynthia can give you some flower growing tips. Of course. It's very simple, really. A plant needs lots of sunlight to grow. And plenty of water. And if you take good care of it, you'll soon have a yellow daffodil flower. Just like yours? Just like mine. Thanks, Cynthia. We'll take good care of this plant, won't we, Panda? <laughs> Mel 
colony hatched from an egg. Uh-huh. At first, she was a little baby chick. That's when you met her, Jojo. Yeah. Then Melanie started to grow bigger and bigger and grow more and more feathers. Whoa. Until she became the fully grown chicken she is today. But, Gran Gran, I haven't grown that much. Well, some animals grow more quickly than people. You can give Melanie a little stroke if you like. Hello, Melanie. You're a grown-up chicken now. <gasps> She's still really soft, Gran Gran. Would you like a new photo with Melanie? Yes, please! <laughs> This building's called the Hatchery. It's very special. To enter, we all have to be very, very quiet. Okay? Okay. 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 Follow me. This is an incubator. We keep some of the eggs safe and warm in here until they're ready to hatch. <gasps> <gasps> Look, Jojo. Oh, wow. She's so tiny and fluffy. <laughs> Would you like to name her? Yes, please. I like to call her, um, Ma Marjorie. Marjorie, oh, that's a great name. If we pop this stick next to your plant, we can measure how much it has grown. And if we draw a new line every week, we can see how much your plant is growing. And we'll keep looking after it, just like Cynthia said. <laughs> Awesome, Jojo. It looks just like a trumpet. And you must have been taking really good care of it, too. I love butterflies. Butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, you're not a butterfly. Oh. Do you know what this is, Jojo? Not in my nature tick book. This is a caterpillar. <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. Finding this caterpillar means, in a way, we've almost found a butterfly. Almost found a butterfly? What do you mean, Gran Gran? This little caterpillar is nothing like a butterfly. It's little and furry. And it doesn't have wings. That's true. But one day, this furry little caterpillar will change into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. Really? This little caterpillar will change into a butterfly? Mmm. It's amazing. A caterpillar hatches from a tiny egg. <laughs> then the caterpillar eats... Eats and eats until it's ready to change. Into a butterfly? Not yet. 
it needs a bit more time. Once the caterpillar has eaten enough, it hangs upside down and changes into a chrysalis. Ooh, it looks like a leaf grand grand. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? The caterpillar stays that way for a long time as it changes into a butterfly with beautiful, colourful wings. <laughs> <laughs>